Stand by. Stand by. Go. Go. Come on, let's go. Go. In VR, the player is the camera, so the player's got complete freedom to look wherever they want, uh, do whatever they want, at whatever speed they want. And so that, that presents us with some challenges, um, but they're really exciting challenges because um, we have to develop a new language for how we guide the player, how we make them look around the scene and, and, and get the best out of the game. I mean, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? <laughs> One of the um, requirements for us as a first party studio is really to show um, best of class. You know, we, it's our job to show what the very best PlayStation VR titles could be. The only way you can really truly achieve that is with a custom engine. You know, we use lots of audio visual cues. We know we have explosions. When the explosions go off, we have things coming past the player's face. You know, there's a sense of immersion there that, um, like I said, you wouldn't naturally get in, in, a, in a film or in a 2D game. Precision mode is super easy to enable. You just press both move buttons down and it, effectively it acts to slow down the world. It's really highlighting kind of that Ryan has these super fast reflexes from his training that allow him to assess situations in a way where he can just pull off a load of shots or pull off actions in a way that would be really hard to do otherwise. With Blood and Truth, we wanted to show the scale and the kind of um, beauty of London. So we invested in a couple of new bits of technology for Blood and Truth. One of those was Vistas. So we use LiDAR data um, that gives us really accurate representation of the London streets and the layout. Um, and we combine that with drone imagery um, to create a realistic vista. So um, there's a number of places in, uh, in Blood and Truth where we'll be looking out over the cityscape of London and we'll see the iconic buildings. And uh, you know, this was really necessary for, to, to really recreate and make you feel like you're there in London. I think the underlying experience we want to get is to is to let you feel what it would be like to be an action hero. For the players.